Greetings friends, Jennifer Nicole Campbell here, and today we're going to talk about three ways to make Hannon fun. Hannon doesn't have to be boring, I know everybody's, oh, I'm Miss Jennifer, I don't want to play Hannon, it's boring. Alright, let's not make it boring. First thing you can do, and this is a really creative fun one, especially if you're first starting off with Hannon. Cat and Mouse Hannon. I can't take credit for this, one of my awesome adult students gave me this idea. Come up with the stories, so and maybe this is the cat sneaking around, and then he sees the mouse. Get a little faster, maybe. gets away. So you can be really inventive with it. Or you could do something like Angel Hannon. Now, what would Hannon sound like if it was an angel? Put the pedal on. So you're kind of also kickstarting and igniting the imagination with that one. Second thing is play Hannon in different keys, right? It's going to be more challenging for the students. And especially if it's the key of the piece they're working on. Let's say if they're working on the Moonlight Sonata. Let's do C sharp minor. Okay. And then the third way to practice hand and exercise and to make them fun, this can be a challenge, especially for your late, intermediate, and advanced students, is to mix them together. So I'm going to do hand and number six and number one, let's say. Okay. Whoops. Missed it. Missed it. All right. So that's a really good way to uh, also challenge your, your older students and to help yourself, right? I think as, as teachers, it's also important for us to keep up our chops, right? And uh, Hannah's a great way to do that. It's a good way to challenge ourselves. So if you like this video, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. Only 30% of you that watch my videos are subscribed. So I hope you'll do that. I hope that other 70%, come on guys, subscribe to the channel, helps build our community and uh, gets the videos out there. So Hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll be see sure to see you next time.